Hi folks. Well, I have to see a bit of blue sky. Well, a lousy weekend so far, loads of rain. Um, right, uh, back to watercolour. Uh, I'll probably show you a photograph that I, I took. Um, you see that? A couple of years ago, I on our wandered bike ride. I'm going to do, so not that, but I'm going to do something similar. Uh, I like all, all this here and that, that if you can probably just, just about see there's a bank there so we'll, we'll try and put some of those in see how, how we go so right so uh, move my tablet put that there uh, right okay so a bit of first is a bit of uh, the uh, Windsor Newton Cotman range of papers, really good stuff, I must say. Lovely, lovely paper. It, it's not artist quality, I don't believe, but uh, it's a bit, I think it's a sort of a cross between the Fabriano 130 pound studio paper, which I also like. Uh, well, I'm more used to that than any other paper. Having painted several or oh, hundreds and hundreds of demos on it. Uh, this one is a bit more heavily sized, so the water stays on the top for quite a while before it sort of dries in a bit. So we'll just just wet it and see how how we go. So, so I can see a little shine on that paper now, and it's not drying. Oh, let's change that. Just, just go over it a couple of times just to even it out a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, get into the pale. Now what we've got here is a cadmium yellow pale, uh, raw sienna, a lizard crimson which I don't use a lot of, light red I do, ultramarine, ultramarine, uh, Burnt Umber, here and there, uh, Payne's Grey and uh, my favourite colour, Burnt Sienna. So let's get a little bit of a bit of a, bit of um, colour, warm colour. This dries a lot lighter. Uh, let's have a little bit of a little bit of red. loosen it a bit. I need to get some more of that out. Use a bit of alizarin as well, but it's, it's almost solid this alizarin. And a bit of light red with the ultramarine to get a bit of, bit of a shadowy colour. Right, and there you can see it's starting to soak in now. Let's just get that there. I'll put a bit of a bit of a back, background misty colour because we've got mist. Uh, mm, the and the uh, ultramarine. Let's try to get that um, nice background colour. Right, let's, uh, right, that's not scraping. I'll just dry that off a bit.
try that. Let's give that a scrape out a little bit. No, it won't. Look at that. Right, uh, let's get some background stuff here now. Put that cloth there a bit. Which it hopes her losing its hair. Let's, let's get some of that down there. The bank coming out here. Uh, we've got some <coughs> yeah just, <coughs> just testing that out now let's get a bit of that uh, paint spray and a bit of bluey colour above here Oh, we're really making up a bit of a misty. Let's go and see if I can get some of that mist in that background. So just very uh, light. Right, uh, we've got a tree coming up here, and there's some. It's more bushy than anything, but I'll, I'll, I'll just put one in. Just to, so I shall step all over this. So I know the trees are there, but we're change, changing the seasons. So more wintry than. I'll come over this with some stipple. Okay. See what's happening to the paper, look. Well, I'll persevere with it, we'll see how, how we go. I'll just break up the uh, the bristles. It's uh, break it up into hundreds of points. There's a bit more colour in than that.
bit of bit of darker stuff in there. I'll go back with some heavier stuff on there with regards to trunks. Right, okay, uh, well, uh, well, as it dries, I can go over it a bit. Let's just re clip it. I haven't done one of these for ages. Okay. Uh, right, now we've got a lot of misty sort of stuff here, but uh, whoops. Paper paints grey and a bit of Right, let's get a bit of a dark in here. I'll put some more on the top there, and you can use some bigger work. As well, Justin. Taking liberties with a few, but it's just a just a, rem a memory of a happy bike ride. Try the brush. Okay, there we do. Yeah, that's all right. We'll, uh... oh, it's a spring, spring morning. So those cauliflowers out. Well, let's try. I'm going to put some impasto on. I've been putting using uh, body colour too. Well, body colour. So straight out of the tube. I remember a demonstration at my art group years ago by some poor hapless uh, watercolourist totally misread uh, what the, the, the paper was doing and he, got it out here and he got out of the mess somewhat by using body colour um, nothing new in that right let's get uh, some of this uh, done on the, this side which is a bit more uh, well, let's just do it. I'm using yellow and Payne's grey for for all this, the trunks.
Еще есть фабрика. Есть Фрэнк Кларк фабрика. I want to do a bit of that background. Try to do something with that. Let's have the blue and we'll have the alizarin. That's uh, not too bad. Be fun. Let's get some uh, some uh, oh that's shopping wet that one. Let's try another one. Uh, some stipple on over there. Let's oh let's just see if I can. Now that's drying in a little bit. Might be able to. Ah, uh, that's better. Right, it's nothing like the photograph, but uh, no matter. This is a misty scene. Nice bit of lifting out, I like that. Never go on and overdo it. Right, I'll go to give that a good dry now, so take your headphones off folks. Go!
I would recommend using uh, acrylic uh, paint to use do stippling, mainly because it's not strictly a watercolour then. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's get some good greeny colour behind. I don't really use any white in this. I've got a nice impression of grasses and A bit of a sienna. Don't really like that. So let's just go over there. We've got that horrible cauliflower there. Give that a dry, headphones off. Here we go. Just to a bit up there, I don't really like the shape of that. Sp 
spring. Probably over shit, over done that much. Eh? Just enclose the view. Right, let's put in a mount. Not the best one I've done for a for a long time, but it's anyway. I don't think I'm going to have to raise you up quite a, quite a bit, I think, so you can see the whole the whole thing. I mean, the mount is quite large. Well, there we are. There, there it is. <coughs> Put a signature on it. Always, always sign your work, even if you don't think it's good. Somebody, somebody will love it. Okay, I don't think that's too bad. I hope you like it, folks. If you don't, you can give it a thumbs down. Probably a bit of the wrong colour there, but uh, never mind. Sunday morning. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.